hi it's future from soulmate welcome to my channel if you want to see how i make this beautiful box pleated skirt please stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and make sure to turn on your notification bell so that each time i upload new videos you get notified you will need a basic skirt block pattern to do this i've got a tutorial on this channel on how you can make one i'll leave a link in the description below and the link above as well so starting with the front skirt make sure to leave yourself some allowance at the center front like i've done here first trace around your block as usual making sure to mark all the notches and the dots lift your block Draw in your dart, square in your hip line and your hemline. Extend the skirt hemline out by 2.5 cm and connect this point straight to the hip line like I've done. Finish off the hem allowance like I'm doing here and just square it a little bit like I'm doing here as well. Now I'm going to add an extra 10 centimeters allowance at the center front like I'm doing here. Draw a straight line and connect all the lines back to the center front line that we just drawn. This is going to be our pleat allowance for the center front. Next square line down from the dart tip to the hemline like I'm doing here. We're going to add another pleat allowance here as well. So we're going to cancel the dot out and cut through this line and add 20 centimeters split allowance here. For the center front is 10 centimeters split allowance because that's gonna be on the fold and then we have another 10 centimeters on the other side. Cut your pattern like I'm doing here. Now you will need a new fresh pattern paper under your pattern so that we can put this allowance on our pattern like i'm doing here tape everything down for the first skirt panel extend the hip line out like i'm doing here and measure for your pleat allowance of 20 centimeters and put a mark measure 20 centimeters out from the bottom part as well so that we balance everything out nicely and align everything correctly like i'm doing here tape everything down now connect your hem allowance and your hemline now measure halfway your pleat allowance which is 10 centimeters for me and square a line down the middle like I'm doing. Now I'm putting notches to my dot points. Now we're going to fold our pleat back to the center line, the normal way they're supposed to stand after they sewn, and tape everything down so that we can cut and get the normal shaping there. So bring both dot points to the middle line. Cut across the top of our pattern and cut around your skirt as well. Now open your pleat. And finish cutting off the pattern. Now I'm adding my notches to show how I'm going to be folding my pleats. It's very important and putting in the rest of the notches and labeling my pattern. Front skirt, cut one on fold. So we're going to be putting our center front on fold.
and we're going to be using this line here as our grain line and I add my initial our front skirt pattern is finished now we're moving on to the back so we're going to repeat exactly what we did with the front leave yourself some allowance for the peel to the front of your center back now trace around your block making sure to mark your dart and the notches now notice we've got a zipper allowance on our center back here of 1.5 centimeters so first i'm going to mark that out 1.5 centimeters draw in your dart square in your hip line and square in your hemline so this is my center back and now i'm going to be measuring out from the original center back line 10 centimeters for my split allowance now cancel out the zipper allowance and join these two points together with a straight line like I'm doing here. Connect your hem allowance, your hem line to the new center back line. So we added 10 centimeters bit allowance here. Now square line across at the west line like I'm doing here. Next we're going to draw a straight line through the dart tip like I'm doing here to the hemline make sure it's squared so we'll be cutting through this line and adding 20 centimeters split allowance like we did with the front and we'll be cutting out our dart now extending our hemline out by 2.5 centimeters and doing the same to the hem allowance as well connecting a straight line from this point to the hip line 2.5 centimeters and square this point a little bit now marking my notches for the pattern make sure to add a center back notch there as well now cut around your pattern and cut through the middle line Get a fresh pattern paper and put it under your pattern pieces like we did with the front. Tap the first panel down nicely. Now extend the hip line out like we did with the front it will just help us with aligning our panels together and we're going to add our pleat allowance of 20 centimeters again here put a mark now measure another 20 centimeters out at the hemline and put a mark as well now align your second skirt panel to these points and tape everything down nicely now connect your hemline and your hem allowance like i'm doing here now measure halfway the pleat allowance which is 10 centimeters and square a line across the middle like i'm doing here now applying notches to my dart points there to help me with folding out my pleat next fold your pleats the normal way you're going to do when you're sewing the skirt so that we get the shape of our waistline there bring it to the middle line like i'm doing here tape everything down and bring the other side to the middle line as well To form the pleat and tape everything down now cut along your waistline like i'm doing here to get the shape of our pleat at the waistline open your pleat now finish cutting the rest of your skirt pattern
so the center back is going to be on fold And I'm adding the rest of the notches for the pattern. Now our zipper is going to be along the side seam for this skirt. So just measure 18 centimeters down along the side seam and put a notch. Then go a further one centimeter and put another notch. And labeling our pattern back skirt. Cut one on fold. And I put my initial. And we're going to be using this line as our grain line. And our back skirt pattern is finished. So we'll be using a straight waistband for this pattern. I'll leave a link in the description below and the link above as well on how you can make one. And all our pattern pieces are finished. Now we're moving on to sewing. Moving on to sewing our box pleated skirt. What you need are your completed patterns, your fabric your zipper and your cutting tools so now we're moving on to cutting our fabrics So all our pattern pieces are cut and ready to sew. So the first step is for us to take the waistband piece and we're going to go ahead and interface it. You can either interface the whole piece or interface it halfway. I'm gonna do halfway for mine, let's do that. Okay, now so that's done. So I'm gonna put this on the side for now. Now get your front skirt piece and we're going to go ahead and fold our pleats along the waistline following through the notches that we put there and make sure to pin everything down nicely. Now repeat the same with the back skirt piece. Next we're gonna take both our skirt pieces to the sewing machine and we're going to sew our pleats down at the waistline here. Make sure you are going to be sewing within your seam allowance. So I've got a one centimeter seam allowance here. I'm going to sew them down with a 0.5 millimeter seam allowance, okay? For both, let's go and do that. Okay, now, so that's done. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to top stitch my pleats so that they sit nicely. So what I'm gonna do is to align my place nicely and just decide the length of my stitching. That's where my stitching is gonna end. So you can decide to make it shorter or longer, it doesn't matter, but just make sure that you do it the same for all pleats, okay? So now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and with a straight stitch we're going to be top stitching from the waistline all the way down to the pin, go across to the other side and sew all the way up to the waistline again for all three pleats, okay? Let's go and do that. Okay now, so that's done. It's looking nice and neat. I don't know if you can see it clearly what I've done there and at the other side it looks like this okay next we're going to go ahead and overlock all our side seams let's go and do that okay so that's done so next we're going to take both our skirt pieces and we're going to lay them down right side facing matching our side seams so align your side seams and we're just going to pin along both side seams from the waist down to the hem for both sides. Mm -hmm. 
So we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew with a basting stitch from the waistline down to the zipper notches. We're gonna back tack there and sew all the way down with a regular sewing stitch. And then on the other side, we're just gonna sew all the way down from the waistline to the hemline with a regular sewing stitch. And then when we finish that, we're going to go ahead and apply our centered zipper. You can use a left zipper or whatever you want, or even an invisible zipper, it's up to you. I'm also gonna go ahead and hem my skirt, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a double turned hem and top stitch at one centimeter all the way around. Let's go and do that. Okay, now, so we've done that. So the final step is for us to attach our waistband to our waistline. Now get your waistband piece and just check to see the side with the underlap. Which is our back skirt from the inside because I want this to be a top stitched waistband. And we're going to pin along the whole waistline right round. Now take this to the sewing machine and we're going to go ahead and attach the waistband leaving the seam allowance hanging with a one centimeter seam allowance. We'll leave the extension hanging as well on this side. Let's go and do that. Okay, now so our waistband is sewn on. For the underlap side, we're going to make sure that we notch to our seam allowance here at the bottom. Okay, and then we're going to fold our waistband back and align the notches together like this. And we're going to pin along this whole edge and this whole edge up to the fold line. Now take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew from the fold line all the way down to the corner here and then we're going to turn our fabric and sew all the way down to the seam here, okay? Then on this side, we're just going to be sewing at one centimeter seam allowance all the way to the fold line. Let's go and do that. Make sure you fold up your seam allowance like I've done here. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we've done that. And the next thing we're going to trim the corners and turn the waistband to the right side. So now we're gonna go ahead and cover this seam inside and turn under our seam allowance. You can even iron this to make it easier for yourself and pin everything along. And then we're gonna go ahead and give the whole waistband an edge stitching right round. Let's go and do that. Okay now, so I finished sewing my skirt and I also finished off sewing on my waistband and everything's looking nice and neat and I'm so happy with the result, thank you.